shock and grief have given way to desperation and lawlessness in some areas hardest hit by the 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake. Many looters made off with food and basic supplies. Others saw an opportunity for large-scale theft. Authorities declared a nighttime curfew in several municipalities, and President Bachelet sent thousands of additional security forces to restore order. Now is when the crisis begins. There won't be work or anything. People will be hungry. There is no electricity, no water, and no food at all, because they've looted everything from the supermarkets, from the small shops and the pharmacy. So we have nothing. The chaos comes as emergency responders continue efforts to find quake survivors trapped beneath rubble or unable to escape damaged structures. The devastation appears most severe in Chilean coastal communities. First jolted by the earthquake, many seaside towns were then struck by tidal waves several meters high that washed away homes and carried an untold number of people to their deaths. This man says the water swallowed him and his wife and swept them away. I cannot find her anywhere. I have looked everywhere and in the hospital. I cannot find her. President Bachelet has asked the United Nations for assistance, including temporary bridges, field hospitals, electric generators, and water purification systems. Until such aid arrives, she is appealing for national unity and a sense of common purpose. We are facing a massive catastrophe which has caused damages that will require an enormous effort by both the public and private sectors, one of the largest efforts in the history of our country. This effort will be required now and into the future. This was the second major earthquake to strike in the Americas this year, and it was much stronger than one in Haiti in January, but with far fewer fatalities. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.